Let me present the next generation crypto platform, CryptoView. Never lose track of your net worth in cryptocurrencies. A SaaS product you won't forget. Also, I created this SaaS only using no-code tools. And in this video, I'll show you how you can do it as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thanks a lot for picking this video. I'm Simon Horberg and I talk a lot about tech, SaaS and online business. And if you've been a subscriber to this channel, you might remember that I did a video about the perfect tech stack for a SaaS product a few months ago. It's the perfect tech stack for a SaaS product. But the only problem is it contained a whole lot of very complicated code. And if you're not a programmer, I wouldn't blame you for being completely demoralized while watching it. Like, do I need to understand all this to build a SaaS? Fortunately, no. You can actually build a fully fledged SaaS product entirely using no code tools. Is it beneficial to know programming to start a SaaS business? Well, of course. Do you have to? No. And that's exactly what I'll show you in this video. I'll show you how to build your own SaaS platform, including a landing page, login system, custom user data, all without writing a single line of code. Or, to be fair, we do need to write a tiny bit of code to make this work, but as you'll see, it's really not that complicated. Let's get started. Let's start by breaking down how we're gonna build this and which tools we're gonna use. We need a website for a product. It will contain the marketing material and a page for plans and pricing and a place to sign up. It will also contain the actual web app that you get access to after you subscribe to a paid plan. In this video, I'll refer to this as gated content. For this part, we'll be using Webflow. We also need a way to handle subscriptions and payments so people can sign up, pick a plan and log in. To handle subscriptions, we'll be using Member Stack. To process payments, we'll be using Stripe. Both Member Stack and Stripe have solutions for no code as well as low code. This means that as a SaaS scale, and we may hire developers to do something more custom for us in the future, both Member Stack and Stripe can easily be integrated in a new solution. Now, in order to deliver custom functionality for our users, we need a database. In this case, we want users to add their own cryptocurrency assets to their lists and see them when they log in. In almost any case, we need a database to store data. We'll be using Airtable for this. Finally, we need something to tie all the pieces together so they can communicate with each other. We'll use Zapier for this. So, our no-code tech stack will look something like this. Of course, in a more real-life scenario, I'd had to add more tools to this setup. An important one would be an email service. I recommend using SendGrid to handle marketing emails. It's one of the most reliable services out there and it's pretty straightforward to integrate into your service. Also, if you're not a programmer. Additionally, in order to make your email stand out professional for you and your team, I'd recommend using Ystam for email signatures. So, Ystamp is a tool that you can use to create beautiful and professional looking email signatures. It's super easy to add your name, title, link to your social channels, and you can pick from a ton of templates. You can even add your own handwritten signature, which I think is super cool. And here's the best part. If you're a business owner and you manage a team, you can add all your employees here and make sure that all signatures from the whole team are streamlined and always up to date. You can sign up for free, so check out the description below. I've added the link that will get you started right away. Ystamp is also the sponsor of this video, so I want to say thank you to the Ystamp team for supporting this channel. All right, let's start getting our hands dirty here. The first thing we want to do is to set up an amazing looking website. Let me introduce Webflow, a no-code tool for building websites. Let's head over to Webflow and create an account. Now, we'll hit new site and get ready to set up a website. So, we can create a site from scratch or we can pick a template to start from. We're definitely going to be picking a template. So, the trick is to find one that already looks a lot like the site we imagined for our SaaS, so we don't have to change too much. So I'm simply gonna search for SaaS, and then let's see what we get. I love this one. Seems like a perfect fit. Let's get it. All right, so here we are, ready to create this website. Most of this actually looks good as it is. We're just gonna change the copy around here, there, 
and there we go. Now, let's just delete these menu items. And let's just clean up a few of these sections we don't need. So, the graphic work here is already outstanding. But, let's just bring it into Figma quickly and add a bit of crypto vibe to it. Now, I'm literally just gonna add some crypto icons to these. Of course, in a real-world example, you probably want to hire a designer or, if you are one, spend some more time getting this just right. But for now, this is great. So, let's continue giving this page an overall. It's probably worth pointing out that if you have no experience with HTML or CSS whatsoever, Webflow might feel a little steep when you're just starting out. But don't worry, Webflow has a ton of educational videos in their Webflow University and no, you don't need to learn HTML and CSS in order to make this work. Just pick a template, change things up like I just did here, stick to the overall structure and don't get into anything too crazy and you'll be just fine. Let's go to the pricing page and add a few items here that makes a little more sense. There we go. I'm happy with this. Let's publish it. Done. Aha! I think this looks really good. And this took me almost no time to set up. All right, now that we have the website done, the next thing we need is to create a user login system. We also want a way for people to sign up and subscribe to our SaaS. So let's create two pages, a login page and a sign up page. Most of these Webflow templates comes with a password utility page. Let's just copy the layout from this one and modify it slightly. Now we can just copy the sign up page and make a login page out of it as well. Now let's make sure the login button sends us to the login page. And the get started button will send us to the pricing page so we just want to make sure that clicking on any of the price columns will send us to the sign up page. There we go. Let's publish it. All right, it's time to create the login system. Let me present Member Stack, a no-code tool used to create logins and payments for your website. Let's head over to memberstack.io. Let's create an account. Then let's add a website from Webflow. And we'll simply follow these steps. Let's create a membership and call it professional plan. And yes, we want to require payment and we'll just set a price here. And as you can see, we can also enable free trials, collect taxes and more. But we'll just leave it at this for now. Now, we want to pick a part of our website to hide behind a paid membership. In this case, we want to hide anything on a special portfolio site. So this would be anything on our website slash portfolio. If people try to visit this page, but they're not logged in, we'll simply redirect them to the login page. Awesome. <laughs> That's basically it. Now let's head over to Power Ops and pick member specific pages. We want to activate this and add the portfolio path here as well. Finally, we need to integrate the member stack functionality on our Webflow site. We do this by adding the piece of code right here. Then head over to Webflow, click Project Settings, then click the Custom Code tab. And then we'll simply add the code here. Do note that adding custom code to Webflow is a paid feature, so you'll need a site plan to do this, but you can get this for as low as $12 per month and you'll need this to host your website on your own domain anyway. So if you haven't upgraded to a site plan already, this is a good time to do so. Now, let's create a sign up and login form in member stack and wire it together with the sign up and login page we created in Webflow just before. So let's go to the form and field section on member stack and create a sign up form. We basically want an email field and a password field, but we're also going to create a third one called Webflow member ID. But we actually want to hide this one. So the user won't see this field on the page, but we need it in order to link member stack and Webflow together. Now, let's click on the email field. We can see that it shows the custom attribute with the name data MS member and the value email. Let's go and add that to the email field on the login page. We'll do the same with the password field. And finally, we can see that we need to add this to the actual form that wraps both fields. Let's publish and quickly verify that it works. We're gonna sign up here. And we're gonna go to the member section in member stack. There we go. 
the member got created. Now, the next step is to start wiring things together. First, we need to create a collection where we can store each member in Webflow CMS. We'll call it members. Now, let's add a few fields. The name and slug fields are mandatory. That will simply be the name of the member and a slug. The slug is the last part of the URL, which will be used to identify a specific member on the page. Each user also need a field to store their email address. And finally, we want to add a field for some custom data. CryptoView is still in beta. So the only thing we will be able to do once we sign in is to add cryptocurrencies to a portfolio along with the amount of them that we own. So let's create a field called crypto assets that we'll use to store this data. And we'll simply pick a plain text field for this. Now let's save this collection. And as we can see here, there's no items in this collection yet, since we don't have any users in the system. Now, when you create a collection in Webflow, it'll automatically produce this CMS collection page. This page is what users see when they log in. For now, let's just add a text saying portfolio and a button saying add crypto. There we go. All right, let's just get an overview of what's going on here. The idea is that when a user signs up, a new member will be created in member stack. That will trigger an event that creates a new member item in the CMS collection in Webflow, which will again create an event that passes back the Webflow member ID from the collection into the member in member stack. In that way, we have both systems nicely tied together. But how do we do this? Let me present Zapier, a no-code tool that we can use to connect services on the internet. Let's go over to Zapier and create a new account. Now, let's create a new SAP and call it Webflow plus member stack sign up. Under app event, let's search for member stack. The event trigger we want is new member. Next, Zapier needs to be connected to member stack, so let's go to power ops, then find API key under Zapier. Next, let's create an action. We're gonna search for Webflow. Here, we're gonna pick create live item. And also here we'll connect Zapier with Webflow, but it should pick up from the account you're signed into. So let's pick the site. It'll be CryptoView and the collection, we call this members. Now for the email field, we'll simply pick email from the event. Crypto assets will leave blank. For the name, let's just add the email again. We could have created a form containing a field for a username, but we're keeping it simple here. And for this slug, we want to use the member stack ID. It's simply called ID. That's it for the Webflow action. But we'll actually add another action to the chain right away. Because we want to now update the member in member stack. So we'll pick update member. And we want to update the member based on the ID we got from the newly created member. So we'll pick the ID here. Now, we want to add the Webflow member ID here. So we'll pick from the member collection item we just created and choose the ID field. And for the member page, we want to use the ID of the member stack member. And that's basically it. Let's turn this set on and test out the whole thing. So we're gonna sign up for a new user. We can see the member got created in member stack. You can also see that the SAP added a Webflow member ID and it added a unique slug for our member page. Awesome. Let's go to our Webflow CMS collection and see. There's a new member. Looks good. Let's just double check. The slug has the same ID as the member page. Yes. And the item ID from this item became the Webflow member ID in member stack. Yes. So that's it. Webflow and member stack are now totally in sync using Zapier. Isn't that just freaking awesome? So at this point, we can create a user, subscribe to a paid plan and log in to see a part of the website that is gated behind a paywall. And so far, we haven't written a single line of code. In order to make this work in real life, all we have to do is add Stripe payment, which is super easy to do directly from member stack. It's absolutely incredible, but we're not done yet. We still need to add some actual functionality to this SaaS, which includes storing user data in a database. I will cover all of this in part two of this video, which I will publish very soon. So you definitely want to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss it. I'll see you soon for part two.